And we're back at it again. I wasn't even going to film this, but I actually thought might as well. Some interesting, um, like, Fiesta trivia that I just found out as well. I'm just in the process of stripping this door, which is the original door from this car. I am stripping off the chrome trim that exists on the gear models. Never really been a massive fan of chrome, don't really like chrome. Um, just on anything really. But it can it can look really cool like in certain colour combinations and stuff. Uh, but just not my thing. I'm gonna go for standard standard black rubbers like I have on the new door that I picked up recently. And these are lovely and fresh. So so I'm just gonna use these just simple black outline around around the glass which I personally just prefer just a simple clean Any look. ideas? The chrome trim that I have on this car is in super good condition. <laughs> Interesting thing that I just found out, um, I've already found a guy that's interested in, 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 in buying these from me. Because this Mark II is an early model gear. It's a 1984. The trim that it has on the windows is actually aluminium, where on the later models, it was, um, they, they made out of plastic and it faded really quickly and just turned to rubbish because that's just what happens to plastic, especially if you have it outdoors in, in direct sunlight, it just turns to absolute potato salad. And I have it, um, and I have it on the doors as well. Better to move them on onto someone that's actually gonna get some good use out of them. I'll take everything apart, give it a little clean and um, send it off. Already started taking off the, taking off this boy and then this cover boy. Just some fiddly little bits. Um, but yeah, just gonna do a little time lapse. Any ideas? Any ideas? <sighs> Not gonna lie, that was a bit of a struggle, you boy. Hour and a half that took me. <laughs> yeah, uh, door strip, that chrome stuff. It's so delicate. I have to be like so, so careful with it. It's like the thinnest aluminium. And in certain places you have to do a bit of like Jimmy and around. I got it all off in one piece, all nicely. These are all the bits of the door. This is the important bit. This little aluminium trim. It's literally, it's just the thinnest, thinnest alley you've ever seen. That's one of the bare doors. We've got like 50 <laughs> bare doors. We've got bare doors, mate. We've got doors for days. Door, door, door. Door. Any ideas? Door. Doors outside. Doors everywhere. Bare doors. <laughs> Stupid. Struggly boys, mate. Struggly boys. Garage staff. Garage staff. Does whatever. Oh, freaking whatever. We are developing somewhat of a small problem. Picked up another piece of a car without the car being anywhere near done. So, um got this new hatch it is so fresh that I am I don't know it's so fresh it's however many years old it is but it's literally like new it's got like, all these cool stickers on it um, I'm gonna have to take them off because obviously we all know the score can't be rocking another man's stickers on your car but that's way down the line one of the cool things that it has is the glass it's the non-heated glass so it's just clear 
clear glass for example i will demonstrate on this car excuse the ridiculous dust but as you can see oh look how disgusting that is jesus Jesus! as you can see those are the the, the, the heater elements that run through the glass to warm it up to like defrost it or whatever and like you can see them here as well and that glass is just clear glass which i personally think is really cool i'm gonna think about whether i'm gonna keep the whether i'm gonna keep the heat screen or not keep the heat screen we'll work it out later but um another really really cool thing is that my rubber the actual glass seal that's on the hatch this is a gear one, so it had a crappy trim in it, and it was destroyed, and it's not really in the best condition. But the seal on here is a fresh boy! Oh, it's literally, I look how absolutely freshy this hatch is. No rust on it whatsoever, underneath is mint as hell. I'm gonna run out of space at this rate. I should not be this excited for it, but I think I just wet my pants a little bit with excitement. The red hatch, it's... Um, it's from a base, it's from a base spec car that didn't even come with a rear wiper. Back in the day, that wasn't even, you had, that was a, that was an extra if you wanted. You was a boiling kind of individual if you had a rear wiper, but I hate rear wipers. And on this car, when I was driving it about, I took the wiper off, plugged it up with this little closed grommet, whatever. It's loads of effort to like, de-wiper it, you have to weld in the hole and blah blah blah. This hatch is the, ah, oh, look at it, it doesn't have one. It doesn't have one! It's clean! It's clean! So freaking clean! Oh my god! Such a good purchase! Well done everyone! Absolutely fantastic news! Decent price! Got sweet glass in it! Got good rubber on it! Any ideas? De wiper from the factory! What?! Super sick! Just fresh out! Oh, so fresh! Fresh beyond belief! The door's fresh, the hatch is fresh, this door is the other door. It's kind of fresh, it's kind of fresh, but it's pretty fresh. That's going on, so that's good. Freaking skeet, man. Ross has been a super busy boy, and he's done loads and loads of loads of doings. What was the last thing we filmed on this? I don't know, I don't know if you... So you repaired, you repaired this corner, that corner, painted it up. It's all, all, all of that is all painted. Painted the inside, outside, so might as well painted the, all of the beams, you know, the beams. So you got the full beam, you got the beam, beam. The, the gutters have been stripped back. It, it's not that bad, you know, you get that rust here. Yeah. It doesn't. It's, it doesn't look scary. Yeah, it's nothing bad at all. Just done. This down, on this side. Clean okay, this so up, the door jams, like door jams are all nice and clean. Stripped it all back to bare metal. Cleaned up this. It's looking company. good. It's looking good. Crusty. I'm gonna leave this as long as possible until it needs attention. Solid, but quite a bit surface. <clears throat> I'm leaving it as long as possible. Just as oh, a test. Oh, the seals is just. This, this went back to nothing. This is that little epoxy, slightly whiter. It's like a different colour, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. We yeah. took it back to that bar, stripped it back to bare metal, you can see it. Underneath. The wax is. Oh see, yeah. You can see the line I took it to, because I want to take this off and then I'll, I might do the rest of that. If not, it's just still in that wax or stuff, I might just leave it. Anything Any that ideas? was bare metal. Nice, it's now covered in yeah. fresh epoxy. Mate, that looks nice. Very nice. The whole thing just snapped off. That snapped off of that. Oh no. <laughs> mate, so sick. Well done, mate. Like, again, just bare moves, bare progress. What I need to do today is what I have prolonged for the longest time ever is get these, get these off. Because there is a dude out there. Shout out to you, dude. Sorry for making you wait so much, but. All of that needs to come off. I'm gonna take that off now. Should be relatively straightforward. It's freezing in here today. Um, we're gonna get a heat gun on it, try and do it from the inside, put out the rubber, bish bash bosh.
Okay, I don't know what I thought, but um, this is a little bit harder than what I thought. The trickiest bit is to just get it started. What I've tried to do is I've got like these little plastic spatula thingy. So yeah, this is the corner I've literally finally just managed to to get onto the other side. So this rubber lips over and you have to get it all across to the other side so that the glass can pop out. So literally jamming these things in and then just very gently pushing on the glass and then just, it's, it's, it's really fiddly. Back to the time lapse, now I feel like I've got it started there. You can see, you can see here it's peeling up. Um, and then the whole thing should just, um, the whole thing should just lift out. Any ideas? Right, moment of the truth. It's literally released everywhere. This is the first time in this car's life this is coming out. And this is the first time I've ever done this, actually. Boom, 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 bam. Not bad, not bad. Happy with that. Wicked. Whew. That was nerve wracking, actually. When you're like taking it out, you can see the glass flexing and we already snapped Ross's windshield so I was a little bit worried here, not gonna lie. No rust anywhere, it's all good. Obviously could do with a clean or whatever, but yeah, nice. I'm just gonna do another quick little video from the other side, from the inside, um, so you can get a gist of what I was doing in there. This one should go a lot quicker. Um, yeah. Time lapse. Any ideas? I was um, using these little plastic scraper things to just get behind the rubber, peel it up. Every now and again, I would um, use a bit of um, bit of silicon spray just to. Everything is old. Everything is super old, so you have to like just treat everything real nice, real gentle. Like uh, make sure all of your sharp edges are all nice and slippery. That's what she said. Anyway, whatever. Um, things everywhere because of this shape you literally just have to free up top corner here and the bottom corner here and just this side and then just a little bit and then the whole thing just boop, slides out fairly straightforward I don't know what it's like putting these things back in but I'm gonna look for some base spec window rubbers so no chrome trim on them just black rubber just like this hatch because that's the sort of look I want to go for. Just, um, just clean, minimal. At least, um, at least that's what I've got in my head for now. Um, yeah, happy days. Result. I don't have any type of way to end these videos, so just for now, it's just gonna be. Uh, boop.